Fellas, hope you're doing well so far this week. We're uh, June 13th today, getting close to that halfway point in the summer. And uh, as you know, it goes pretty fast. But I wanted to reach out to you today to follow up from some of our conversations in the spring. Normally, I would send you a letter. And I thought, you know what, a different medium, a different way to communicate with you might be better. Uh, it would be, I think, a little bit more interactive if I could convey to you in a short video uh, some of the principles that uh, I want to touch upon with you about leadership. If you were here in the spring, you know that we define our leadership styles that uh, we've identified within our football team or really any organization through the leadership continuum that we sent. And what I wanted to do was go beyond just defining those styles. For the freshmen, this will be a little bit of an introduction to that. Uh, and for the returners, hopefully a little bit of a review. But we just really talked about the characteristics of different types of leaders. What we didn't tell you was how to go between different uh, levels of leadership, the tools that you need. And so what I wanted to do is talk to you about those tools and what can help make you a better leader and move your way up the continuum. So you will fall into one of those five leadership levels at some point during your time here. It can be a little bit fluid and uh, there might be weeks where you're more of a highly capable individual and there might be weeks that you're more uh, on the spectrum of being a transcendental leader. Our hope is to keep you out of just being a, a capable person. We want you to be the best that you can. So how do you change or help redefine your level of leadership? I think it's pretty simple. You are what you do, and your habits are what define you. And there are certain habits that you can put into place that will help guide you to be a better leader and move up that leadership continuum. So when we talk about the, the most important or first habit that helps get you out of just being a highly capable individual, it's really being proactive, the habit of being proactive. There are two types of people. There are those who are reactive and there are those who are proactive. Reactive people feel that life dictates to them. They say things like, I have to do this. I have to do this paper. Or I wish so-and-so would work a little bit harder. Or I have to go work out. They feel like they're being forced. They're along for the ride. They're going with the flow. Proactive people understand that they are making a choice. They take control of their lives. I choose to work out. I choose to do this paper. They understand that their outlook and that their, their self-choice, their ability to take control of their own personal lives and destiny can have a great impact on the, their ability to lead people. Proactive people have a much different outlook because they are making a choice. You've chosen to be a member of this football team. And in order to be the best member of this football team, there are other choices that must be made. You must choose to work out at the highest level possible. You must choose to be the best student that you possibly can. You don't have to do anything, but your choice is very important. And having that outlook is going to make you the best at whatever it is that you want to do. There will be highly capable individuals in any organization. They can contribute. They can be a part of what's going on. Our hope is that we move you beyond that, beyond just going to practice because you have to, beyond doing a drill because you have to, and help you become proactive and choose to do the drill because when you choose to do something you're going to do it at the highest possible level. You don't have to do anything. Choose to do them. Choose to have the best outlook on your life. If you want to change the way that others behave around you and act around you, you have to change from within first. You have to be proactive. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend. Can't wait to see you guys that are coming for Open Roads next week. And uh, you'll hear more from our captains here uh, within the next few days as well. But we're looking forward to having you guys here and uh, seeing everybody uh, next week for Open Roads. Take care.